How to make breadfruit trees. Adventitious root shoot propagation. First, sanitize your tools. This is an important step to prevent the spread of disease between trees. Then, find your rootstock. You'll often see cakey root shoots popping up from under the canopy. Use roots that are four to eight centimeters in diameter. Before digging the root, use a knife or paint to mark the top side of the root because you will need to scar it later on. Dig out your roots by carefully loosening the soil around them. Usually, there are roots that are just below ground and grow out laterally. Cut the root where it is attached to the mother tree and pull it out of the ground. After transporting to your nursery, scar the roots on the top side, making two millimeter cuts every three centimeters. Cut the roots into no less than arm's length pieces and place them in your soil bed top side up. Use soil that is well draining and high in organic matter like forest soil. The goal is to maintain moisture and fertility in your beds, so you may have to fertilize as your root shoots mature. Cover your roots with about five centimeters of soil. You may have to water every day in order to keep your beds moist. After about 12 to 20 weeks, you will begin to see growth on your rootstock. Let your shoots grow and in about three months, they will become slightly woody, which means they are ready to air layer. Now let's air layer. The nodes on the shoot are home to plant hormones and will produce roots, so cut just below the node. The closer to the ground, the more stable your air layer will be. Make a cut just below the node around the outer bark and into the cambium layer. Make sure to thoroughly scrape the cambium layer tubes so the roots can grow. Use a moist substrate like soaked peat moss, coconut core, or forest soil as a growing medium. You will want it to be wet enough to keep moist for the next three months. Then the roots will grow above your cut. Secure your air layer by using aluminum foil, plastic wrap, or similar materials to hold the medium in place while the roots grow. Wait about three months or until you see a root ball and when it is mature, cut the root shoot away from the root stalk. To pot your saplings, again, use soil that is well draining and rich with organic matter. And voila! After about four weeks, your saplings will harden and will be ready to distribute. And after about three to four months, they will be ready to plant out on the field.